The person who invented the induction cooker was a genius. Such a big piece of steak will be cooked in minutes. The principle is very simple. The current through the wire will produce a magnetic field. If the wire is wound into a coil, each turn will produce its own magnetic field, which makes the magnetic field much stronger. The secret of induction heating is this coil. When the high-frequency current passes through the coil, it will produce a high-frequency alternating electromagnetic field around it. This magnetic field changes very quickly, up to 100,000 times per second. To give an inappropriate example, in order to change the positive and negative terminals of the battery, you can also change the magnetic field, but you have to do this 100,000 times per second. After completing the above steps, you then put the iron pot on it. At this time, the electrons inside the iron pot are rapidly rearranging themselves in response to the high-frequency electromagnetic field, and this process creates eddy currents, which violently friction at the bottom of the iron pot, converting the electromagnetic energy into heat energy, which cooks the big steak on the iron skillet. Now you know why there is no reaction when the food is placed directly on it, right? It is because the induction cooker is heated by electromagnetic induction, so non-magnetic materials such as glass cannot produce any current. Naturally, it won't work as well as an iron pots, and the best way to test it is to suck it up with a magnet. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and follow.